How you safely treat a wound should be determined by wound cause, severity, and access to medical help. It's important to know when to leave a wound open. Animal bites, crushing injuries, and deep punctures are all at high risk for infection. So in these cases, packing the wound with gauze instead of closing may be a better choice. Zip stitch may be used on minor cuts and lacerations. Clean your hands with soap and water or antiseptic wipes. Control bleeding by applying firm, direct pressure to the wound. Bleeding must be controlled before the wound can be treated. Next, clean the wound to prevent infection. Remove any large fragments of foreign debris from the wound and irrigate the wound thoroughly with water to flush out any remaining debris from inside the wound. Dry the wound and surrounding skin with clean gauze. If a zip stitch is used, the skin surrounding the wound must be completely clean and dry in order for the adhesive to stick well. Place zip stitch over wound, pressing the adhesive firmly on both sides of the wound. Gently pinch the wound closed while pulling on the straps. Don't overclose the wound. Stop when the edges of the wound touch. If you have clean scissors available, you may cut the excess straps. Apply a protective dressing over the wound. It is important to prevent dressing adhesive from touching the zip stitch device so that it is not removed or damaged when the dressing is changed or removed. Zip stitch can be kept on the wound for up to seven days if needed. When you can't stitch it, zip it.